In this lecture, we will be discussing another problem from regular languages and finite automata. And this problem is from GATE 2013. Alright, so let's see what is this problem. So it says, consider the language L1 equal to phi and L2 equal to A. Which one of the following represents L1 into L2 star union L1 star? And we have four options A, B, C, D. Option A is epsilon, option B is phi, option C is A star, and option D is a set containing epsilon and A. So here we are given two languages L1 and L2, where L1 equal to phi and L2 equal to A. And here we have an expression which says L1 into L2 star union L1 star. So if we perform this operation, we want to know what will be the outcome. Will it be options A, B, C or D? So let's try to find this out. So in order to do this, we need to remember and recall the identities that we have studied in our regular expressions. So first of all, let us try to write this down and let us try to solve it. So here, let me just write it down. It is L1, L2 star, union, L1 star. Okay, so in order to solve this, first let us solve this first part and then we will solve this second part. So here we have L1 into L2 star. So what is L1? L1 is phi. So let me replace L1 with phi and L2 is A and then we have a star. So we have into A star and union. Let me just keep this as it is L1 star because we will do this later. So first let us try to figure out what is phi into A star. Now if we look at the identities of regular expressions that we have, we have an identity which says phi into R is equal to R into phi is equal to phi. That means phi into anything is phi itself. Whether it is phi into r or r into phi, it is phi itself. So phi is just like zero which works in our normal multiplication. So whatever into phi is phi itself. So here from that identity that we have just saw, we can say that phi into a star is phi because phi into anything is phi itself. Then we have union L1 star. So what is L1? L1 is phi and star. So we have phi union phi star. Now we need to find out what is the value of phi star. All right. Here let me just write down this phi as it is union then phi star. What is phi star? Now again if we look at the identities of regular expressions that we have already studied there is an expression which says phi star is equal to epsilon. So if we have phi star that is equal to epsilon. So here, this phi star over here, we can replace it with epsilon. So phi star is epsilon. Now finally, we have phi union epsilon. Now phi union epsilon will be epsilon itself. All right, because phi represents nothing. Union, the empty symbol epsilon will be epsilon. Now if we look at options A, B, C and D, we see that option A is equal to epsilon. So the correct option or the correct answer for this Question is option A, which is epsilon. So, if we perform this operation on these languages as given here, the outcome that we get is epsilon. So, that is how we solve this problem. So, I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.